Happy day 17. I uh, am just back from a round trip journey to San Diego and back, actually El Cajon and back to uh, spend some a little bit of time with these cuties. This is the um, June. Chapman is his name. Isn't he gorgeous? Uh, Greyhound Adoption Center is... Um, is an organization that I have supported for over 10 years, uh, I think 13 or 14 years that I've supported them and uh, was able to drive down and get a tour of the facility and met some amazing dogs. I wanted to bring them all home with me. I really wanted to bring them home with me. Look at this guy. Oh my God. They're just the most elegant, graceful creatures. And um, there was one dog in particular that I fell in love with and her energy was just so sweet and she uh I was petting the bottom part of her her little neck and she let she rested her head in my hand and I started to cry it was um it was really special her energy reminded me of little Bailey and uh they're an amazing organization they take they rescue animals uh, that are found or are surrendered from the dog track in Tijuana and they rehabilitate them. Some come in with broken limbs, um, behavioral issues, and they spend time with them and get them the surgery that they need, the medical help that they need, and have a behaviorist um, dog trainer that comes in to work with the animals on um getting them ready to be socialized and uh their property is really well maintained and the condition of of the grounds and all the dogs except for one one that was um still going through behavioral training all of them their tails were going in and there was an area outside where they were getting cleaned and it was warm so they were spraying them with water and all of them jumped up to say hello and they're large dogs I mean the the males can be up to 80 pounds so I had all these large paws all over me and it was wonderful um it was really wonderful and it was worth the five hour round trip journey to get down there um it's about 2 30 here and I left my house at quarter to eight this morning and uh, dropped off a couple of art pieces for them. They've got a fundraiser coming up in a couple weekends, so I'm hoping that they can raise a lot of money because they do really, really incredible work there. So today is around service and um, how we can show up in service of ourselves, um, but also how we can show up in life and be of service to others. Um, I know a lot of people would be like, why did you drive five hours round trip to spend 30 minutes with animals? It was more than just 30 minutes with animals. It was um, being able to do something for an organization that has done so much for others. And I'm tearing up because... Um, these dogs came from really horrific conditions and they are happy now. The one that I connected with, um, she, which is why I started crying, is um, she did happy puppy three times. And that's something that Bailey did. It was, you know, the, the dog's stretch is our version of downward dog in yoga. And I used to call it happy puppy. And Bailey learned what happy puppy meant. She would do it um, on my yoga mat, which was really cute. And she did it three times. And it was like, it was just a really special few moments that I got to have with her and it took everything not to want to bring her home. <laughs> it took everything not to bring her home. Um, but they, they're large dogs and they're 
Um, they take up quite a bit of space. Bailey was small and took up quite a bit of space. And so, A, I'm not ready to have another dog. B, I don't think I would want a big one. I think I would go with another Italian Greyhound again just because they're the perfect size. Um, but it was a really... It was a really meaningful trip, not only to, um, not only to have the time with the dogs, but to be able to give two paintings that I adored and to be able to gift those two pieces to them, to be able to give them money to continue to do what they do, um, I'm going to share, Kara Soki is her name, I'm going to share her pet finder profile on my Facebook page because I want to help to get her a house and a family because she is just the sweetest thing. Just, oh, just adorable. Two years old and she, she came in on April the 5th. So she's been, a, she's been there a little over three months and is definitely a favorite of the staff and is just a love bug. So um, whoo, I didn't expect the emotion to, uh, to come up so fluidly during this, during this, uh, video, but, you know, they're happy tears because giving back has been top of mind for me this month. And I'm looking forward to next weekend when I get to do service Saturday with Agape and maybe I'll, I'll get matched up with the dog rescue. I don't know. Uh, but I'm really, I really get a charge out of doing things for others and giving back to organizations that are making an impact on the planet. It really makes me feel good. So it was a day, it's been a day well spent and, uh, I'm looking forward to, um, to hanging up my calendar. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh my gosh. Look at his face. So cute. They're such docile creatures. If, if you guys are not familiar with greyhounds, whether they're Italian greyhounds, little ones, Bailey was, you know, 16, 17 pounds. And the big ones are about 80 pounds. Um, they're the same. They love to sleep. And they have this just dainty elegance about them. And uh, whether they're 80 pounds or, you know, little 12 pounders, they're just the sweetest dogs and I have grown to love them so much over the years and uh it was a nice way to pay tribute to little Bailey by being able to uh to give those paintings in her memory so that's it service day 17 you guys have a good one I'll see ya bye